Welcome to the PPVG Gamescast. My name is Steve. Your name is Steve? My, My name, name is Mo. <laughs> Your name is Mo. My name is Steve. It's been a while. We're it's, out it's, for a few weeks. Yeah. yeah out for a few weeks. We are back. Yes. And we are the passionate playing video gamers. In today's episode, we're going to talk about our biggest disappointments and surprises during the first half of 2017. We'll also talk about betas. That is something that we do, especially with the Destiny 2 beta yeah. that just happened a few weeks ago. But we're going to start off with the SNES Classic Edition debacle at Walmart. So uh, Walmart had it available on Friday, July 21st. They had pre-orders available. So Mo actually sent me a text letting me know that there's pre-orders on Walmart.com. When I went to Walmart, they were sold out. And I was pissed. Because I had no idea. Again, cool. I, I checked the websites every day. I had no idea that they were even going to go up for availability for pre-order. I, I actually didn't know either. I didn't even know that was a thing. I, you know, who knew with what what happened with the NES Classic? So I was nobody expected that. Where did that news come from? I I tried searching for on on sites, and I still didn't find anything that they were going for pre-order. It was I don't know. So I was extremely pissed off. But I, I didn't even think they were even going to do pre-orders. I thought it was just going to be an NES Classic, just show up day one. But, and then Walmart sends an email canceling all pre-orders. And they had a statement saying, due to a technical glitch, it was a glitch that caused it to be available online. So they canceled all the pre-orders, sent an email apologizing, and no further announcements. Until today... Nintendo, on their Facebook page, made an announcement, and this is what they said. We appreciate the incredible anticipation that exists for the Super NES Classic Edition system, and can confirm that it will be made available for pre-order by various retailers late this month. So they did confirm that retailers will have pre-orders. They didn't state which ones or which specific dates it will happen. Uh, they did say a significant amount of additional systems will be shipped to stores for launch day and throughout the remainder of the calendar year. So more than launch day, and that's all they stated. It will be just shipped until the end of 2017. They didn't announce anything after, so it is a limited edition console, but there will be pre-orders, unlike the NES Classic Edition, where I know some stores only had like 12 on launch day, but they're going to say there's a significant amount I'm actually really disappointed internally, just me. I wish they wouldn't do pre-orders. Uh, the reason why is I'm planning on staying in line. Actually, Heather uh, might be joining me. Mm. I plan on, if they do a midnight launch, whenever I get off work, just go get in line. Or if they do regular, whenever Best Buy or whenever a store opens up at 10, I'll get in line at midnight. I'll wait eight hours to get my golden ticket. <laughs> I waited four hours for the NES Classic Edition. I want the Super NES twice as much, so I will wait eight hours for the Super Nintendo. It's just, if they do pre-orders, so for example, if a store gets 50 Super NES Classic Editions, and if they do pre-orders, say they you can pre-order 25. So that means there's only going to be 25 available on launch day if you weren't able to pre-order. So that's why I wish that like, no pre-orders, just have 50 available, because I'm not too sure if, if I'll be behind. Yeah. Again, I try and catch up, but if they, they just do random during the middle of the day and I'm unable to get a pre-order, then I'm shit out of luck. Yeah, I can see that. Um, did, did, I wonder if Amazon's going to do pre-orders as well. I don't know. For some reason, Heather and I have been super lucky on Amazon getting pre-orders to go through when, this, when the whole Switch thing was going on. We, we were one of the first lucky ones to land it like, like that. She's, she's been on top of it as far as uh, pre-orders on Amazon have been going. Um, so you pre-ordered the, the Switch on, on Amazon? Yeah, yeah. And I was... Uh... Someone wanted to join in on the conversation. Look at my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. And then you got your Switch on day one, actually, because I know on Amazon some Nintendo Switches came in later. Yeah, they yeah. We, we got day one um, perfect. The, the, the controller worked. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, no problems. My, my controller. <laughs> so uh, I'm wondering if they're going to do Manu do a pre-order for their two. Um, and 
I know that they don't want to say a date that yet because everybody's going to go fucking crazy on that day. There hasn't been any specific <clears throat> announcements of which retailers will do pre-orders or which won't or even what date. Hopefully we'll get time in advance or if they just do it quick. Because I know um, with Best Buy, um, the announcement was the day before. Like, hey, they're going to get the very last shipment, MDS Classic Editions. Someone let me know on Facebook and that's when I am camping out. And I'm getting ready. Did you have to sign up for for the the actual notification or? No, it was on Facebook. They so just sent it on Facebook. No, 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 no. A friend actually. No, I posted one of our videos about oh. the NES Classic, and then they're like, "Hey, they're doing more a shipment in Best Buy." Wow. So there was a friend on Facebook who actually posted a comment on one of our videos and said there's going to be more. That's and so that's how nuts. I found out. It was by luck. Wow. That I was able to get the NES Classic Edition. So it's like just word of mouth. Yeah, Pretty word much. of mouth. Um, what What do you think the strategy should be for the, the retailers? How would you do your pre-orders? Uh, I don't, I really, would you make a big announcement or try and make it low-key? I would You know what? I, I would do... Uh, unfortunately, I hate the word of mouth thing. I think that's... It's already hard enough trying to get one of these damn things. Um, I just... It, if there was, like, a way for them to, like, I was asking you if they were some notification or something, like, oh, if you sign up now, we can probably notify you of when it might happen between these dates. At least that person can actually kind of keep their eyes open of when these things go on sale, when you can go and get one. Instead of them trying to know from a friend, from a friend, or a friend, or somebody that works for the actual damn, like, you know, like, Target or Walmart or wherever the hell they work at, um try to get some type of notification from them to actually find out when they're going to release these things. I just think there should be a little bit more organization. Um, I just... I, I, highly doubtful. Yeah, highly doubtful. But I, I feel like even if they did um, a 72-hour notification um, would be kind of helpful for some of the people who actually do want one, who want to be the collectors of that specific item. I think that's that would be kind of generous on their end. The one thing I haven't checked, GameStop. So I signed up for GameStop for the Xbox One X. So they were actually sending me an email notification with any updates of when it goes on pre-order. Yeah, so that's... I haven't had a chance to check GameStop today since Nintendo just made the announcements going on pre-orders with yeah. retailers. Yeah. But GameStop for the Xbox One X, they are going to send me an email so I can go in and get my pre-order. See, but something, like be, something like yeah, that. Something Yeah, there's going to be a more demand, though, that, which is my biggest concern, is p are people going to be waiting in line just to get a pre-order. And then that puts on me, like, should I... Because I was planning on waiting eight hours. On uh, Super NES Classic Edition comes out September 29th. So my plan was, I really want this motherfucker. I'm going to wait eight hours. So should I take the chance and wait four hours for a pre-order? If GameStop is going to do that? So I'm just in a dilemma. I don't know what to do. And we don't know what these companies are doing either. Uh, it's just it's no notification. I, there has to be something out yeah. there that can help you at least get to one of these items. I think it's it's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> but we'll see how it works out. I don't know. It'll be worth it. I like, it fuck tar you, Nintendo. Right. It'll be worth it. I mean, but still, the, fuck you. One of the first companies to say they are say that they are getting pre-orders was Target. The, after the whole you know Walmart debacle, they went online. The and, technical glitch. Yeah, the technical glitch. They said yes, we will have pre-orders for this, but uh, coming dates when they when Nintendo notifies them, which is who knows. <laughs> Ideally, seventy-two hours would be the best. I yeah. think they'll do the twenty-four hours. I think they'll just put an announcement saying we're doing pre-orders tomorrow. And make your plan. I like the 72. It gives yeah. me time to think and debate. Yeah. Um, but they did say the late August, so the end of August. But even if you do not get a pre-order, Nintendo did say they will have additional shipments over the pre-order amount. Oof. That's just... I don't know. But who knows how much it's going to be on eBay. <laughs> Weren't they like at $800, 600 right. $500, something like that? I think it was $900. $900. $900. <laughs> $900. <laughs> On eBay, nine hundred. <laughs> I'm then, joking. I have no idea. Then, then, I have no idea how much it was on then, eBay. Then, like one of the last NES classics, like if you look it up now on eBay, isn't it around like a, a couple grand now? A couple Cause, grand because people are being like ridiculous. Well, you always have that one yeah. ridiculous person that was like asking for three grand or some shit like that. So I bought the NES Classic Edition on the, the last shipment in April at Best Buy, 
And when I came home, I was not gonna sell it. I was not gonna wait four hours in line, four in the morning, to get my ticket to sell it. <laughs> I want to play it. <laughs> and then I came home. I just looked curious. I saw it for three seventy-five. How fucked up would it be if you got home and like the controller didn't work? At all? <laughs> no. If you want to hear my story? I do have that in a previous episode. My adventure to buy the NES Classic Edition of the bullshit I had to go through. Get home, plug in the with my golden ticket. And it doesn't work. <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh I'd be, I would have been furious. I'd have been pissed. But Super Nintendo Classic, I uh, believe we something. Um, I'll I'll be with uh, your lady. We'll be in line. We do want one. Um, we want this one more than we want the NES Classic, unfortunately. I, I do. I want the Super, Super NES more than the NES. Yeah. Uh, this just... is just an incredible compilation of games. And uh, my wife has not played the Super Nintendo, and I can't wait to play it. I took the day off. I took September 29th off to give me time to recoup. I learned my lesson from the NES. You know, I want... I know that the Nintendo, the SNES Classic, and um, Sega with with the company at Games is bringing out the the new Genesis one. Um, I wish they would make a, a Sega Master System, too, like... That was the, my first system, besides like the NES. I got the NES after. Uh, Sega Master System 2, I wish there was something. I, I know emulators, but I'm not looking for an emulator. I want like an actual box. That would be awesome. Correct. I yeah. know you can buy all the emulators. Like, no. I want I want it from Nintendo yeah. But for $80. I want everything. a Sega Master System. Somebody make it. Please, make it happen. Those were some great games that you know I missed. <laughs> So, Mo, you want the Sega the Master System? Yeah, Sega Master System. That number two, not the first one. The first one was cool, but number two had some some stuff in there that that just set the set the uh, uh, console consoles apart, you know. But I, I want to see that. I want them. I want one. So, I might be camping out earlier than expected. I might be camping out at the end of this month for a fucking pre order. <laughs> But I learned my lesson. One of the lessons was for the Nintendo Wii. I remember this back in my college days. Going for in for the Nintendo Wii for the pre-orders. GameStop announced the, the day before that we're doing pre-orders for the Nintendo Wii. And I got in line about half hour before they opened. And they only had 32. I remember this fucking number. They had 32 of them. I was like number 45 in line. I'm like... If I would have came in like an hour earlier, all I had to do is wait two hours instead of an hour. But no, I camped motherfucking out for 23 hours for Nintendo Wii. The longest I ever waited for in the Oregon cold weather in November. 23 hours for the Nintendo Wii. One of the best days of my life. (laughs) (laughs) Was it raining? It was not raining. Oh. It was just fucking cold. Can you it was surprising. It, was it usually does rain. That would have been more depressing in your story. In Oregon. <laughs> but now I'm in Vegas. But it was cold when I actually waited like two hours in December that I didn't get it. The last shipment before Christmas. Mm-hmm. But in April, in September, the weather should be nice. I know it's fucking hot now. Yeah. So I'm debating that, that Nintendo Wii it haunts me. As in, if I would have just came an hour earlier. As in, do I just camp out four hours for a pre-order? If I don't get it, I'm going hardcore. So we'll see. We'll see. But they are doing pre-orders the end of August. Just keep a watch out of any announcements from retailers. Keep an eye out. Uh, and thank you, Mo, for sending me that text about Walmart. Even though when I went there, it was already sold out. So you just teased me, motherfucker. If I hear something, I th- you know, I say it. But I do appreciate <laughs> it. Send me that text. And I got aroused for 30 seconds. And then I was soft all night. Flaccid. Sold. That was flaccid. <laughs> the entire weekend Plus, after I found out. So sorry for your wife. <laughs> She's not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know in the comments below if Nintendo should do a pre-order system or no pre-orders and everyone's on the same slate on September 29th.